I get your thought process with every single image. I think it, it aligns. Very cool. I personally think we can like do okay. this one for, obviously we're doing this guy. And I, I really think this is like on brand with what we're doing. I think, let's see how it plays out. I think this could also be on brand. <laughs> You know what? I could probably get a vlog in here because we're actually doing something. Um, the last few weeks have been quite chaotic. And let me tell you, I just realized not until this year um, and this time of the year how many, well, it's Scorpio season, as we all know. I just realized how many Scorpios I have in my life that are like close friends of mine, even like family members. Obviously, I knew about my family members, but the friend aspect. I didn't realize how many Scorpios I have in my life until this past few weeks. And I think it's really amazing. I always knew I, for some reason, attracted Scorpios and gravitated towards Scorpios. I feel like we get along really well together. But we also get along in like different ways. Meaning like I have Scorpio, like my dad is a Scorpio and Lyle is a Scorpio. <laughs> And my closest friends, my best friend is a Scorpio. My other best friend is a Scorpio. Oh, no, actually, he's a Sag. So, like, I have Scorpios and Sagittarius in my life. Point being is I've been to four birthdays in the last month. No, in the last week. I've been to four Scorpio birthdays in the last week, and I have another one this weekend. Um, so, I just have a lot of Scorpios in my life. And then, actually, I had another close friend in LA that had her birthday, so it's... It's one of those. I don't know what it is, but it was really interesting when I realized it. I'm like, hmm, I need to look into this more. But I'm off to dinner right now with um, like a brand dinner. It's an event. I don't know. I feel like a lot's been going on this past few weeks. And it's been really hard for me to vlog because I just feel so overwhelmed, to be honest. It's been really, really hard for me to juggle everything. And I'm like in the process right now of finding an assistant. I just can't like possibly a fly. I are you? I just feel like I can't give it my all when I'm like trying to balance so many different aspects in my life. And from the clothing brand to you know my full time job being like an influencer content creator. I've been doing this for like nine years at this point. Um, and then I'm also working on like another business endeavor on the side that's like been really time consuming for a while now. So it's just been a lot for me to balance everything and be able to give it my all because I just, I can't, I feel like I can't give it my all. Um, I feel like I'm not, there's no worse feeling than feeling like you're not giving it your all and you know you could do better and you feel like you're not good enough because I'm, for me, I'm like my biggest critic and like my biggest motivator at the same time. Like, I like root for myself every single day and then there's moments where I'm like not really like positive with myself and that's really hard to figure out sometimes and like maneuver through. So I think that's also why I haven't been as consistent on YouTube because I just don't have not only the motivation because of my lack of time and like my life hasn't been so creative it's been just like administrative type of stuff on the back end it's just like a lot of work stuff there's nothing for me to vlog i kid you not i spent like 12 to 14 to 15 hours on my laptop working most of the days and when i'm not it's like a breath of fresh air and i'll go and like socialize i'll say yes to something and then i feel bad that i'm doing that because I'm like, but I really have to go back and like do all this work that I need to finish. I feel like the list never ends and it's just a lot to juggle everything. So I'm in the process. I've been avoiding it because I know it's a whole nother time commitment to try and like find help because it needs to be the right help. Otherwise it's gonna hurt me more than help me if I don't get the right person that understands what I need help with and 
the vibe and the vision and everything, you know what I mean? So that like trying to find a person like that has been stressing me out because I'm like that in itself is a whole nother job, like hiring the proper team. But I feel like it's just necessary at this point. So I apologize. That's why I haven't been as consistent in posting weekly every Sunday like I used to do um, for a long time. But I'm hoping to get back into the schedule once I have a little bit more help. But in the meantime, it's just been a chaotic mess in my life. And I can't believe the year's almost over. But anyways, I just wanted to update you guys a little bit. I need to head out because I'm going to be late. And yeah, I'm going to show you my outfit as well. I'm in the bathroom right now because my boyfriend's in a meeting and he has the Zoom call and like our big TV downstairs so you can just hear it throughout the whole house. And if I leave the doors open or if I go into any other part of the house, you're going to be able to hear me. So I feel like the bathroom is the quietest right now, aka why we're in here. I'm going to show you my outfit real quick before I head out. I just did my hair. I actually have a haircut scheduled for Monday because I realized the last time I got a haircut was in July. And my hair is just so long, you guys. I bought... I bought like these the largest hair claws I can find online and only half of my hair fit into the hair claw and I was so sad and I'm like it's obviously such a blessing to have like a lot of hair but at the same time it's a struggle because I can't do hairstyles that I like like I can't have like a really sleek ballet bun you guys know I love to wear my hair up I can't do like a cute little sleek ballet bun because it's literally like a big orange in the back of my head so i uh, hit up my hairdresser i'm like sos i think it's time for another haircut and i was curious to see how long it's been since my last one i realized it's been since july but i think i thought it was sooner than that so i didn't want to get one too soon but in all reality it's been a few months so it's time and i think i'm going to take more layers or length off honestly like so my hair right now this is like curled as well so when it's straight it's like literally down here yeah you see if i pull it it's like pretty much down to my jeans i think i want to go to like boob level is usually what i do like mid boob like here chop all that off and then add more face framing layers slash like curtain bangs to like frame the face anyways my outfit i have this like black bodysuit um bag for my paris vlog this belt, high waisted jeans, and then I just put these boots on. I never wear shoes in the house, but these are like, I think I've never really worn them except tried them on. So finally bring them out because it's a little bit cooler in Miami, but still hot enough that I can wear a t-shirt and no other layers. So that is my outfit and I'm off to the faena because that's where dinner is. I'm from South Florida, <laughs> but I live in New York, um, and I was fortunate enough to be able to come down here to Miami, and it was just a few blocks down that I went to the beach every single day to find the presence and this reconnection with myself and with life that I, I needed to find to just keep going on. And this, I had this flash of insight. I mean, that's all I can really call it, was sitting on the beach one day, kind of lost. But I had this vision as I'm sitting there, it's like black triangle top bikini, and I'm looking around, and there's like a hundred girls like wearing the same bikini. I was like, everyone's wearing lots of jewelry. I'm not wearing any jewelry, but what if you had jewelry for your bikini?
guys. I am getting ready right now. I have my friend's birthday tonight that I was telling you guys about. And I'm just doing a... Well, first of all, I kind of vlogged this morning a little bit, but it was all nice quality time. And we like to schedule on our calendar. I actually shared this on stories. I got so many uh, DMs about it. So either Lyle or I will like send each other a cal invite. It was funny how many people were like, oh my gosh, I never thought of this. I'm like, girl, like if I, my close friends that know me, if I, um, if we like schedule a hangout, I'll be like, babe, can you please send me a cal invite? It takes three seconds, but it means the world to me. And it makes my life so much easier. So, you know, the girls that get it, get it. We were having some quality time this morning, so I didn't vlog too much or like talk too much, but we went on a nice walk. We got like brunch, hung out. We're on our phones and stuff. Just had us time, which we try to do every week because it's so important. I think when you're in a long-term relationship, you just have to make time for that stuff. There's just no excuse. Um, so we know that and we prioritize that. And then I got back, worked, did some stuff around the house, like ran laundry, had to wash our sheets. They're still actually in the wash because I put them on that, like a pre-soak whitening setting so that they can like, when you have white sheets, it's so hard to keep them like white, if you know the struggle. So I just did some stuff around the house, back in the whole house, X, Y, and Z, all that good stuff because it is the weekend. And now I'm getting ready for the birthday. I just did my hair, I'm doing like a low, bun parted to the side i don't really do a side part like this so i figured i would do it tonight with some spikes in the back because yeah i normally don't wear like a side part like this but i figured it would be something different for tonight and i didn't want to wear my hair down because i'm getting a haircut monday i really need this haircut so i just didn't want to deal with all this hair right now um and then my outfit i'm gonna put on in a second i think i'm gonna do like a little red lip moment to be honest that's why I'm keeping my makeup a little bit more simple. I'm just gonna do some highlight, lip liner, a little bit of mascara, that's it for the face, and just like a red lip because I'm wearing pops of red in my outfit.
Hi loves, it's Monday afternoon and I just picked up my dry cleaners. I had this waiting for me and I figured I was in the area so I was gonna grab all my stuff. I washed my Alexandra pants. I'm actually wearing the, I'll show you guys. I'm wearing the black tensile ones and I washed the brown, I think they're taupe. I believe is what they're called on the website. Um, I always get them dry cleaned because with Tencel, you just gotta be careful because it's such a delicate fabric and I would hate, I make everything in limited quantity so I would hate for them to get ruined. So I always take care of those babies because I want them to last forever so I dry clean them. And I do like a green dry clean where they use like eco-friendly products. Um, so yep, I picked that up and then I am now heading to get my haircut. I'm so excited. You guys know I've been waiting since I scheduled this. I'm gonna go see Daniela. She does my hair at IGK. And I've been waiting for this haircut. I've been like dreaming about it all weekend. Ever since I scheduled it, I've just been like waiting with anticipation of like, all right, time to get my haircut. So I'm stoked. I'm heading there now. I'm like close, but I'm gonna be a little bit early, I think. Unless there's no parking, then I'm not gonna be early because I'm gonna. It's gonna take me some time to find parking. But hopefully, knowing my parking luck lately, I've been able to find like a spot immediately, even in like busy areas. Somehow, when I'm going, a spot will open up. Or if I like do a loop once around like the area, something will open up. So I've been like really lucky with spots. <laughs> and every time I'm in the car and like we're driving somewhere with Lyle, and he's like, "We're not gonna get a spot there" or something like that, and he knows I'm in the car. He's like, we're gonna get a spot because I've been so lucky with spots like for a long time now. And yeah, so I'm gonna find a spot and I'm gonna get there right on time, I believe. And then I'm gonna, I had a meeting this morning. So I was supposed to, I had to move my haircut appointment up because I had a meeting this morning that popped up last minute this weekend. Hmm, excuse me. And I couldn't change it. So got that done this morning and stayed up like late last night working on this other project I'm working on with a good friend of mine and it's taking over my life. It's been so time consuming, but I know it's gonna pay off and it's such a great idea and such a good project, but it's taking up a lot of my time. So I stayed up late doing that and then we're gonna revisit that tomorrow because I just we just couldn't actually have to put that in my calendar because we just couldn't finish it all yesterday. We needed to like refresh our minds. So that was it this weekend. I didn't get to vlog too much. I was just kind of trying to be a little bit more present. The very few times throughout the day where I have like free time in a way or like me time or self care time or like quality time with Lyle and or Prince, like I try to be present and it was just hard vlogging a lot this weekend, but I did show you snippets here and there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it wasn't anything crazy, but I do try my best to balance everything as much as possible. It just did not clamp my hair. It's I was like, this is crazy. Yeah. 
like I literally can't even do a hair cloth now. I'm like, we're gonna have to fix this because I have a vibe I'm trying to go for and it's not working out. It's so like, yeah, it's just, I love the long, like, straight hair, but you had it already. I've had it a long time. Long time. And it's really hard for it to ever stay like this in this weather, so. Really hard. I'm like, this looks good now, but if I, I, I could never have this outside. It's gonna curl up and wave up and frizz up, and it's like, what's the point of having a hairstyle? Like a little bit of a hard I hope so too. It's getting kind of weird and nice, right? Yeah. I'm like, what's happening? No, me too. Haircut. I am obsessed. Daniela is just so talented. She's at IGK, and then I usually go to Dan for color, but I didn't need to do color because my color is fine. Like, I don't really, I told you I was only really doing color before because my bleach would show through, but now it seems to be totally fine and it's not um, showing through like bad or anything like that. So I only did a haircut. I love her. She's the sweetest. We always have these like deep combos and she's super into like astrology like me. So we always talk about that stuff. So it's just such a good time. Um, now I felt like I needed to treat myself and I hate how daylight savings time. And now it's what 524 and it's already the sun is setting. I'm like, this is so sad, but at least we have the nice warm weather here in Miami. So that's a plus. That doesn't make me depressed. That actually makes me really happy. Normally, like when I was in New York in this time of the year, especially winter, when it gets, when it's barely light outside for like a long period of time and it's freezing, it would be so depressing. Here, it's a little bit better. So that makes me happy. But I decided to treat myself because I'm about to hit rush hour driving home. So I am going to stop by and get this frappe from this uh, spot called Aroma Espresso Bar in Miami. It's so good. I actually brought Lyle here and He's obsessed with this too. I brought my mom. She's obsessed with this. And usually, La, my mom, and I don't agree on our coffee drinks so much. We kind of have like different tastes and vibes. But this one everyone agrees on. My friend actually got me hooked to it. We came here after like a Pilates workout. And I, and she was like, I really recommend you get this. And I was like, say no more. for pay. And I tried it. And I was like, all right. They're about to take all my money. I know it. I know I told you guys Mandolin does a really good for pay. However, mandolins is like more like an authentic frappe. Like it's like, this is more like my guilty pleasure dessert frappe. Mandolins, I make healthy. So it's more like coffee, but it tastes delicious still. But like I only add a little bit of honey to sweeten it. And it's still not that sweet. It's just like really nice. And like, it's like a good coffee. This, even though I get like the light version, they definitely put sweetener already in the mix. And... I like it too though because you can choose your milk so I get my almond milk and then I add cinnamon and it just tastes like this amazing treat and I swear it's kind of chocolatey I swear they put like cacao in there or something I have to I'm actually gonna ask them this time and it just it's like so good I literally my mouth is salivating I can't describe it if you're in Miami you have to try it if you haven't already and let me know your thoughts because it's really good can I just do the iced aroma with almond milk okay um I think it's a small size I usually get. You want can, 16? Yeah. And can you make it not so sweet? And then can you mix in cinnamon? And anything else? That's it. To go, too. It's gonna be um, 98. Perfect. Thank you. Wait, they put this cute chocolate on top, always. It's actually really good. I have it every time. So good. Oh, okay. I can't even explain it. It's out of this world. Can somebody else please like come try this and let me know if it's just me totally like I don't know what's going on or if it's actually like out of this world because I am so obsessed with this drink <laughs> and I get it a few times a week and I like need to stop 
because it costs more than like a latte. But I always say it's like my gift to myself. <laughs> so I'll like treat myself. Now it's time to head home and I'm gonna listen to a podcast. Okay, I just unboxed some stuff after I got home and I wanted to do a little mini unboxing. Um, first thing, there was three different items that came in or three different packages, but this is from, I don't know if I'm butchering the name, per, 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 Parfum, Parfum, Parfum de Marley, Parfum de Marley. Perfume. I know it's not perfumes. I'm almost positive it's not perfumes. I think that S is silent. So perfume de Marley, Mar Marl, Marley, whatever. This is the brand. I've um, used their scents before. They smell so good. And they were kind enough, thank you so much, to send me the Safanade and then the Athalia fragrances. So I'm really excited to try these out. And then Charlotte Tilbury coming through with a box of goodies. I'm so excited for this. This is like heaven. Okay. First things first is these collagen lip bath icons. These look like mini. Oh my gosh, the colors look so good though. They're like brown hues, tones. Um, pow, pow award-winning pillow talk. Collagen lip bath icons. I haven't used these before. Interesting. I'm really excited. I love the colors. So it's like a, it looks like a little, like a pumping lip gloss with a tint situation. This is the Beauty Light Wand. <gasps> I love the Beauty Wand. This is in Goldgasm. I haven't used this shade. So I'm excited for that. I love when I get products that I haven't used so I can test them out. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder in Medium. I haven't used that either. Flawless filter for Superstar Youth Glow in medium. Is this the foundation? I think I have this, but I had it. I, I mean, when I was trying this out, it was, I believe in the travel size, so I don't have the full size of it. And I'm so happy I got it because I've been like sparing the travel size. I use it on like special days when I do my makeup because I love it so much. This is the Hyaluronic Plus Happy Kiss Color Bomb in the shade Passion Kiss. This shade looks really pretty. How pretty is that shade? I'm excited for that. This is the Magic Water Cream. Oh, I'm so excited. This is for normal to oily combo skin. I have combo skin for sure. It's a gel cream moisturizer. I've seen this everywhere on makeup tutorials, backstage at shows. So I'm actually, I've never tried it. I'm really excited to try it. And I like that it's fragrance free as well. Love that. This is the Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. 93% agree skin looks younger. Yes, gals. And then we have the setting spray kit. Oh, they have two different ones. They have the regular setting spray and then the white tea of Bali setting spray. I have the regular setting spray, so I'm excited to try out the other scent as well. And then, ooh, this is this shade. Eyes to memorize, long lasting, easy color. I believe this is like a cream eyeshadow moment, but this color. Beautiful. You know, I love like my neutral nude brown hues in my makeup. It's like my go-to. So I'm really excited about that. Now I'm going to an ALC event this week. So I got to pick out an outfit to wear to the event. I'm really into my brown tones. So this is so perfect for that. I picked out this like um, velour brown, like a chocolate brown blazer with gold button detailing. Shoulder pads, of course. This is a beautiful piece. And then I got the matching pants in the same color. They look like a flare moment, a slight flare. So I'm gonna put everything away and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I have a lot of work to get done and tomorrow I'm excited. I have my nail appointment. I kind of like killed my nail right here. I don't know if you could tell, but I was like stress biting and not good. And these are actually my nails, so it's not good because I really was like stress biting them and like totally ruining my real nail. I'm gonna go get it fixed tomorrow. We're gonna fix it because I have to shoot a few campaigns and I and these bad boys need to be in tip top shape if we're doing close ups, if you know what I mean. Good night for now. Bearing a 